Well, hello everybody and welcome to the first tutorial on parabolas. Our first objective that we're going to look at in this tutorial is to state the important pieces of the parabola and a general introduction to the parabola. So if you get out your main sheet where we're going to be uh, talking about all of the conic sections, you know we've already filled out the top row, which is the, the circle. The second conic section we're going to look at is when you take the plane and cut the plane uh, through the cone where the plane is parallel parallel to one of the sides of the cone. And if you do that, then the two-dimensional figure that you'll be cutting out is called your parabola. I actually have two sketches to show because there are vertical parabolas. Those are the types of functions that you've looked at in Algebra 2. This one is opening upward, and this one is opening downward, and maybe is a little bit narrower. The standard form for one that is vertical, again, this one is the function, would be x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4 times a times the quantity y minus k. There are parabolas that can also open sideways. For example, this one opens to the left, and maybe this one opens to the right. These are two separate parabolas. These, of course, are not functions because they do not pass the vertical line test. The standard form for parabolas that go sideways, that open to the right or to the left, is y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4a times the quantity x minus h. We'll investigate these two standard forms on the next slide. Applications of the parabola, if you play a sport or if you watch sports, um, a lot of times, like if you're watching football or soccer, the ball will be thrown into the air or kicked into the air in a parabolic motion. Um, you know, if you forget about wind resistance or if the ball happens to hit something else, um, it will travel in the exact um, form of a parabola. So sports is a, is a fine application of parabolas. Um, there was an app, it might not be as popular anymore, but the Angry Birds app, you might have played that app before. That's basically a game where you're throwing birds into, uh, you know, things and, and you have to measure the distance and make sure that your parabola arc is uh, exactly Exactly what you need for it to break apart the the piggy's um, house. Um, a headlight or a flashlight is a is a great application of uh, parabolas, and I'll talk about that um, uh, pretty soon. So there are plenty of applications for uh, parabolas. Let's turn the page here and let's talk specifically about the definition of a parabola. This is 9.2 the first half. A parabola is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point called the focus and a line called the directrix. So we're talking about all the points in a plane that are the exact same distance, equidistant, from a fixed point and a fixed line. So right here, I've got a picture of a parabola. Let me label some of the parts, and we actually have plenty of parts that we're going to be talking about. Um, the first part right here, this is our focus. So let me label that as the focus. This is our fixed point called the focus. Down here, this dotted line is called the directrix. So that's where the directrix is. And the definition of the parabola is that it's all of the points that are equidistant from this fixed point focus and this line, the directrix. The point that's actually the closest between the focus and the directrix is an important point, and that's called our vertex. I'll go ahead and label that. There's our vertex. If you think about any other point on this parabola, any other point, for example, let's say this point right here. This point right here is exactly the same distance from the focus as it is to the directrix. This is the same exact distance. And if you pick a point all the way up here, again, just as a quick visual, that point is the same exact distance from the focus as it is from the directrix. So all the collection of all the points that are exactly the same distance from the focus and the directrix would be our parabola. 
and you can imagine if you move the directrix closer to the vertex, that's what's going to fatten out, widen out your parabola. And if you pull the directrix farther away, farther down, that's going to make the parabola um, open um, um, that way. Okay, so I got rid of all of those um, dotted lines so as not to confuse anything. Okay, so there's two other parts of the parabola that we're going to be talking about. In line with the focus, but on the parabola, are two points that are exactly equidistant from each other, or from the focus, and they're in line. These are called your points of symmetry. So this is one of the points of symmetry. Point of symmetry. And this is one of the other, or the other, point of symmetry. So we're going to be looking for many things. We need to find the vertex. We need to find the focus. We need to find the equation of the line that is the directrix. We need to find the ordered pair that is the point of symmetry on each side. And then there's one last thing, and it's a part of the parabola that has, sure, it has a weird name, but it's this distance that's between the two points of symmetry. And it is called the lattice rectum. <laughs> I know, I told you, it's a pretty weird name, but it's called the lattice rectum. I'm going to go ahead and do it in brown since it's called the lattice rectum there. <laughs> okay. So the lattice rectum is the distance between the two points of uh, symmetry. And then there's one last thing that we're going to go ahead and do. I know we've got a lot, but there is another axis that divides the parabola exactly in half, and that's called your axis of symmetry. So I'm going to go ahead and label that as well, the axis of symmetry. And that hopefully has a a meaningful name since it divides the parabola exactly in half and it's exactly symmetrical on each side. So these are all of the pieces of the parabola that we're going to be interested in finding. I said that I would talk a little bit about one of the applications which is either a flashlight or a headlight. If I look at a two-dimensional cross-section of let's just say a car headlight, um, what the car manufacturers do is they actually fix the light source right on the focus of the parabola. The, the, the headlight itself is a reflective surface that's actually a paraboloid since it's three dimensions, but in a two-dimensional setting it would just be a parabola. They fix the light source right at the focus because every light um, ray that hits towards the reflective surface will come out exactly in a parallel reflection. Any of these light rays that hit the reflective surface come out exactly in a parallel direction. And you can see that you're going to produce a very um, high powerful beam of light. So that's if you look closely at your headlight when you when you go home um, or at a flashlight, you can see that it is a reflective mirror surface. It is a paraboloid, and that's just one of the properties of a parabola. So that's a pretty cool application. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the introduction and the parts of the parabola.